If you've seen my last episode, which I only can recommend you do, you will know that I spent quite a bit of wood for the various decorations there and that in turn required me to spend some time here to restock on my wood supply and as a consequence this double chest uh, in the end was empty. To get it back filled up I uh, spent uh, three or four nights uh, mind that's real-time nights, not Minecraft nights, uh, to get it full again. Uh, so, and uh, as I intend to add more farms that require bone meal, the supply we get from from our farms uh, uh, up there uh, is not enough. So I went out and uh, I found uh, myself a nice double skelly spawner. And we will build a grinder there. So let's get a move on. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otsusi, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Today is day of finishing projects. One of them is landscaping around here getting rid of our small hut over there then uh, uh, some more work on the uh, sorter and then finally as promised uh, to finish this episode something new a skelly grinder but as it's just not the most interesting part watching me uh, uh, placing uh, dirt blocks uh, let's do that uh, in, in steps. So first thing I will do the landscaping, I will show it to you and then I will add some more vegetation to make uh, everything a bit more lively and then basically uh, I will do the same uh, in the in the sort and present the uh, final result to you. So let's get started. Let's look at the new hill first. It is not as high as others around but it is sufficient to conceal the oil tank behind it. Underneath it is of course hollow but lit up so there should be no nightly groaning and moaning. Towards the seaside I went with a combination of cliff where it is too steep and sandy beach. Slowly I get the hang on cliff building. While getting the beach right there is still room for improvement. Especially on the layers where I placed sand it is just too uniform. While I consider Scar the ultimate master when it comes to cliff and island shores I dislike his practice to only extend the beach a few blocks below the waterline and then leave a gap. However, on this side it becomes obvious that extending the shore down to the ocean floor becomes difficult. When the floor is steep, the slope is just too uniform. But now let's head over to the sorter where I can show you how I solved the last issue. If you can spot the difference to last time, you have either a keen eye and paid attention or I did a good job. So let me point out uh, uh, the difference down here. This should not be uh, that obvious. The, the most glaring part is uh, this section here and what's behind it is more visible from the top. Then there is also uh, a bit of a lower section here in the middle uh, basically uh, hiding uh, the ice pass uh, up there and uh, preventing uh, constant tripping and around here uh, I had also to uh, change things a bit but let's have a look uh, uh, how it is uh, topside um, 
on here we basically uh, uh, come down from the water channel above and uh, snake everything over the uh, hoppers and then forward to the next one and as we have uh, this uh, higher part here in the middle uh, I needed an uh, item elevator there and that's uh, what's sticking out below uh, there's nothing on this side but for symmetry reasons uh, I just added uh, uh, the same thing on the other side and uh, then basically it continues all the way down there and that's it so nothing exciting it even took less time than uh, I uh, expected to so I have more time um, for the uh, decorations uh, at the house to which we will get right now and now I also completed the decorations around here I tried my hand at some custom trees they should be uh, pine trees or uh, uh, something like it but uh, it just does not look right. Um, I I will have a look how uh, Green or Beat Ups does them uh, because they look great. Then I basically extended the pass out here um, in this direction and have not yet uh, really figured out how to uh, connect this but that's project for another time then around here we have some grape wines with uh, some uh, uh, grapes in it and uh, of course done with armor stands and then below here you can see the uh, stems which are also armor stems and uh, funny fact the botanical name of grape wine is creeper what do you make of that and then over here the hill is a bit uh, overgrown and then here we have some apple trees with some nice ripe apples ready to be plucked and uh, with this uh, this part of the project is done. I also uh, removed the uh, the initial hut over there, so uh, we can finally cross that out. And now we will head over to the place where the skelly spawners are and uh, build ourselves. Uh, bone farm see you there the skeleton spawner is a long way out there we have to go uh, to x950 and on the uh, set axis it's about 8200 so um, let me fly over there and uh, I will see you again right here we are uh, this spot right here that's uh, the um, AFK spot well not this here but uh, down below and we will have uh, um, uh, some uh, uh, bubble elevator and uh, such things and I think I forgot the uh, kelp and we need to get down to this level right here so 
first order of business is probably um, getting the uh, dungeons lit up. And there is the uh, other one. Ooh, they hit, they hit hard, they hit hard. So, number one is lit up. And And number two is lit up. Let's deal with them. Right. So, um, where was our spot? It was right here. And then the uh, other shoot would be here. I dug everything out and already started with the uh, layouting and uh, even standing here you can see both spawners are actually active so basically uh, the, the whole area between these uh, two uh, squares will be okay. Here in the middle we have the uh, axis and exit tubes uh, then of course we have the, the two uh, spawners which uh, uh, will have uh, a water uh, flowing uh, from this side into this channel here and pushing it over here on the ground and here on this side in this direction then behind this wall we'll lift the uh, scalis up so we can drop them down somewhere around here so they take enough damage uh, and they are basically a uh, one hit kill and i uh, measured it out it looks like uh, if i place uh, lights uh, two blocks away from the uh, from the glass here that's just uh, sufficiently far away uh, so that uh, uh, the light level here on the uh, inside uh, are low enough so uh, the skellies are actually uh, spawning which they should be and uh, uh, here for floor I went uh, with a checkerboard pattern uh, of uh, basalt columns and uh, quartz columns and I'm not sure if I should repeat it uh, for the ceiling or if we will uh, have just uh, uh, quartz bricks there but uh, all in uh, in due time so then here on the back wall we will have uh, a nether portal um, which will become a bit more useful uh, when I sort all the uh, nether transportation uh, out uh, something that I have not done yet so far but that's another project down the line. 
So I think with the uh, sea lanterns uh, around here that should give sufficient lighting here for the middle uh, so that we can see and uh, I mean uh, when we're standing here uh, nothing will spawn uh, close to us. Uh, so let me put a bit more work in and then maybe we can see the final result. Now this project is finished as well, uh, minus the small detail of the uh, portal, which is still unlit due to the fact that uh, the nether end is not yet sorted out. But that will come in due time. And I have a sorter here with uh, five columns uh, for uh, bones and then one for uh, everything else which will I guess pretty quickly fill up with uh, bows and uh, arrows and below below the uh, enchanting table is a hopper that will pick up everything that is uh, dropped as you can see already gone and then the uh, hopper line into this uh, dropper, um, into the uh, elevator and top here we have the sorter with the, the last one uh, disabled so uh, they can pick up uh, everything else and a bit of lava at the end. So for the ceiling I add a question. I was not sure should I do uh, the uh, quartz brick like the wall or the same as the floor uh, asked on Reddit and there the consensus was uh, do it like the walls. So and with this project uh, finished you can see the uh, drop in uh, quite nicely. It takes a bit uh, of, of time till they make their way from over there to here and both spawners are uh, active so the, you cannot see the uh, particle. I think that's a thing with the uh, glass and uh, Optifine but you can see the scale is uh, spawning in there so you know they are active. And with that uh, we are at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon with another one. Until then, goodbye!